Welcome to this tutorial about creating a conceptual admin dashboard in Blazor server. With conceptual, I mean it will be a very, very simple page which uh, just displays uh, that you are in the role admin and it will have no functionality like managing content or uh, overseeing the, the behavior of the user. So, admin dashboard, admin, admin is a role and whenever we have roles, we have to uh, have authentication as well. So I go to the startup clause. Here I'm adding the authentication to the service collection. Give it the default scheme of cookies. And adding the cookies with default scheme, I mean the default signing authentic and authentication scheme. Uh, yes. Now here I have to register use authentication and use authorization into the pipeline. Use authentication is needed when a request comes in. It will look at the cookie because we told here the cookies is the default authentication scheme. It will look at the cookie that the request uh, brings with it and based uh, on this cookie, the user property of type uh, claims principle on the HTTP context will be created. And with use authorization, uh, when we have uh, policies or uh, role-based uh, authorization scenarios uh, in our application, which we are going to have, then uh, this piece of middleware will check if these are, uh, if, uh, if these are fulfilled. Uh, and because I have to create a cookie, I have to make the controllers uh, routable. So, yeah. Now, I create the admin controller, which will be responsible for writing the cookies. I call it admin controller. Delete the API so that the route is a bit shorter. Now, we will return an action result. The action result will uh, just be the redirect to the index page. Now, uh, I am getting a form. Uh, I am getting the, this argument over the form. I call it password. Here I will just check if the password equals password. If this is true. Then I will log the user in. I first create a list of claims. With one claim, claim types role, and the value is admin. That's very important that you use uh, this claim types role. Uh, now I create the claims identity by passing in its constructor first the uh, I enumerable of uh, claims and the uh, authentication type, I just call it off. And of course, because the list implements I enumerable, uh, this uh, is possible. Now here I create the claims principle and giving its constructor the claims identity and in the asynchronous uh, yeah, method, I'm signing the user in. So uh, that's that. Now let's go to the index component. Here I am building this little form. The method will be post. Oh, I've just realized because I'm going to create the method with the HTTP verb or HTTP method uh, post I have to, to give it the odd attribute there. Then I have to also give it the action. The action is admin. Here I'm just going to create one input field, type password, uh, style it, form control, and I have to give it the name password because I've this in uh, my uh, action as well. Here the button to log in. 
uh, I have to set the submit type, otherwise it won't trigger the deposed method uh, secondary. So that's that. So now we should be able to to give a password to the, the admin controller, and according to this password, it will decide if we, we are get, uh, getting uh, logged in or not. Now, how do we proceed from there? I have to go to the app uh, component. In here, I'm just enclosing everything uh, in the cascading authentication state. Now, if the user is in the role admin, uh, we want to display him or her in the uh, nav menu the possibility to navigate to the admin page. So here I'm using the authorized view component and setting the role to admin. So here we could also uh, pause multiple roles in here. This just means that all the markup in this authorized um, element here is only visible for users that are in the role admin. So uh, here I'm changing it to admin page, admin page. So I have to create a new page by uh, adding a new Razor component. Uh, this admin page will just have admin page, congratulations. Now, first I have to make it accessible, so I have to define its route, but I also have to use here the attribute directive, here the authorize, so that it is only accessible for uh, users. Yeah with the role admin. If I wouldn't do this, the user wouldn't see it in the nav menu, but he or she could just like guess the name and he or she uh, could could land on the same uh, component. So it's very important that you have it here too. Now for this to work, we have to go in our uh, app component again. And here I have to change this to authorize route view so that whenever we are going uh, on a new route that, that the authorization is is getting uh, checked to and if you are not authorized we can uh, yeah of course I configure the, the markup I'm just going to say uh, unfortunately you are not authorized So uh, let's have a look. OK, so you see we have no cookie here. Uh, we don't see it here in the nav menu. If I now go to the admin page we see unfortunately uh, yeah we are not authorized now here i'm typing in password went to the controller we got redirected here we see the admin page i click on on it we see admin page congratulations and here we have the cookie if i delete it uh, now of course i don't see anything if we uh, make now a refresh, I see that, uh, yeah, we, we see here we are not authorized and the nav menu is as it was uh, from the beginning. So, yeah, uh, that's it. Thank you very much for your attention.